Well, I'd never been to the Highlands before. It's very romantic. You romantic? Hi, I'm Janet. You're watching the fan carpet, and we're here at the premiere of The Railway Man with Colin Firth. Tell me how you got involved, Phil. Well, it was, uh, I got involved because a friend of mine recommended that I read the book. Once I read the book, I became quite obsessed about uh, trying to acquire the film rights. So I um, contacted the publisher. He put me in touch with the writer. I went down to North Berwick on the Scottish border. I met with him and his wife. Spent the day with them. I guess I must have impressed on them that I had a fairly good grasp of the story and what he went through and um, the next day they phoned me and said they decided to give me the film rights. That was for an initial option period of three years and I renewed, renewed that option several times in the process of scripting it and casting it, you know, so it took quite a long time and raising the finance but uh, as I said earlier to someone that once we got the beginning of a cast with Colin Firth, then the rest of it fell into place and the selling of the territories and the raising of the rest of the finance wasn't too difficult. Uh, well, I was asked to do it. <laughs> as simple as that. And, be, and when I read it, it, it was just such a great story. I mean, it's, you know, it's a story about the very best and worst of human nature and, and, and in a way it defines what it is to be a human being. And, um, uh, and uh, you know, I jumped at the chance to tell a story like that. And with, with, with characters, and particularly in this instance real characters, um, you know, it was a fantastic experience to talk to them and to get to know them and bring their, you know, the essence of their story and the essence of their experiences to the screen. Involved. I mean, I read the scripts and um, uh, I had to work out if I could play. Oh, I couldn't work out if I could play the uh, young Stellan because he's a very specific uh, man, sound. And, and then I met um, Jonathan and Andy, and, and it all went from there. What do you think the story of Eric Lomax has to teach us about the best and the worst elements of human nature? Oh gosh, um, I suppose I. I would, I would resist the word teach. I, I, you know, we are storytellers. Um, I, I'm not going to prejudge other people's reactions or what they may or may not learn from it. Uh, he, it took him a, a lot of courage and a great many years to come to the point where he was prepared to tell his story. He, he wouldn't utter a word about it, even to the people closest to him, uh, for decades. And he came to the point where he was prepared to write a whole book about it. And then he trusted us to continue the storytelling process in a different medium. And, you know, I, I suppose, you know, I, it, I, I lead a very comfortable life. My problems are pretty minuscule. Uh, but I think he, he undertook an absolutely monumental journey from surviving the physical horrors and the psychological horrors of, 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 of the war and of captivity to having to negotiate through civilian life, through actually turning a, a rage into, into something else. Can you tell me a bit about the role that you play? Uh, yes, um, I play a younger version of Mr. Nagase, who is played by Mr. Hiroki Sanada later on. Um, Mr. Nagase is somebody uh, who I don't really know about. I mean, he is a real person, but uh, he passed away a few years before we started shooting. So, so what I mainly focused on is to sort of work out what it was like to live in in Thailand during that time as a young soldier. So that's what my character is based on. So what was it like seeing the story on the kind of big screens? Uh, to begin with, uh, uh, I think you possibly heard me say that I had to see it twice because the first time I was distracted by the fact that uh, the actors and the people behind the film had become friends and it was, uh, you know, seeing how they had played their parts. But the second time, I had uh, forgotten all that and got rid of all that rubbish. And it was an amazing experience, some of it very emotional. Um, but I, I was very surprised and impressed that a drama could carry the story so well. You know, sometimes a drama is based on a book and there's no correlation between the end uh, product. But, um, no, it was quite emotional. Do you think they captured the emotions? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. 
you, you see that it's also a story about untreated battle stress, and that's a modern problem as well, I think. So it's, it's a journey for everybody. It's not just our film, but hopefully it's the film that a lot of people can relate to and perhaps uh, help them go forward a bit too. It's based on a true story, did that affect the way that you shaped the film? Very much so. Um, and Eric Lomax himself came out on the set to Holy Island for a couple of days and um, he was just in his element to see that this film was being made. But the fact that it was a true story and we actually, especially for Colin Firth, that he was able to spend time with Lomax really is apparent in the way that he plays the part. We filmed on the real locations in Thailand, so um, there was a lot of weight that that carried in itself, you know. And so, that, obviously, I don't think it really makes a difference if, if, if it's a true story or not. You're always going to approach your work um, with some kind of fastidiousness. But I think that, yeah, being in the real locations definitely um, added a certain weight to it, which was really nice. Yeah. Had you read the book beforehand? Oh, no, not beforehand. I read it once I started working on the project, yeah. You can never get away from that fact, you know, it influences every element of it, but, um, you know, in the process of bringing it to the, to the screen, you, you, you have to make sort of um, changes to the, the real thing. As long as you capture, you know, the heart of the film and the essence of the film, I think that's the important thing, which I think is what we've done. He, um, Nicole, I didn't have a scene with her, so I don't really know, um, but um, she, I think she's fantastic. Yeah. In the film, that uh, she does play um, very, um, she, she she gives um, different dimension to the story, which is much needed for this tough subject. So, yeah, it, it, it was great. And uh, working with Colin, just fantastic. Um, we became really good friends afterwards, and you know, he, he's more of a mentor to me as well. So, it has been really fantastic to know him. Yeah. Oh, very much so. I think that it's a. It took it took a long time. I mean, it took me in total 15 years. But the cast that we've ended up with, I'm quite superstitious. I think things happen when they're supposed to happen in this life, you know. And um, the cast we ended up with is absolutely perfect for this film. And I think when you see the film, you'll you'll look, agree with that. Um, I think you know what's beautiful about this story is that it deals with the um, the psychological effects of war and 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 the repercussions it has on on the family members. Um, the repercussions it has on the family members and um, and their loved ones. And I think it's so pertinent and it's so interesting. So, yeah. um, I worked a lot on trying to uh, find the character that Stellan had created because he films first, and so I got to use his rushes a lot and, and, and work and try and work out a way to find how you how the, the light in his eyes goes you know going through the tra trauma that they went through yeah. it's just a very good story you know it's oh, yeah. such a good story that I just really wanted to play and uh, what I loved about it is the complexity of the role because he is not a monster he's not a torturer you know he is just a person who had a very uh, close relationship with Mr. Lomax and yet he is being hated by him so which is such a complex role and uh, yeah that, that's what I love that's what I loved about it I guess well I think so you know and I think that in the finished film it, it is a, it, it does pack quite a emotional wallop the film and it is about emotional things and um, you know the actors brought to life so brilliantly you know these the, 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 the emotional elements which is really the the heart and soul of the film well I read many books <laughs> I did a lot of research um, I read every book I can get my hands on except the railway man because uh, I didn't really want to uh, know the story from his point of view so yeah that's the o only book I didn't read by choice yeah such an intense story mm. did that change the atmosphere well, you know, it didn't really. I mean, it, you know, it, we were doing some very intense and uh, deep things, but 
you know, the, the process of filmmaking is very much about doing small things and putting them all together to create that impression. And so, um, the, 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 I think the overwhelming uh, sense on the set was that everyone really wanted, everyone was amazed by Eric and Paddy, and they really wanted to do their best work to honour their story in a way. And we all felt, you know, incredibly privileged to be able to have access to them in the way that we did, and to be able to tell the story. So, you know, it was kind of a, it was kind of a very strong and camaraderie on the on the set more than anything else. What kind of impact do you think the film will have on the fans and people? Um, I hope that uh, this film signifies this sort of forward-thinking way of how to work with people globally. Um, this subject isn't something you get to be taught in Japan at school. I wish I had been, you know, and I think it's so important to know the history, learn the history and be open about it and talk to people about it so that you're very open to each other and that makes it possible to make this fantastic work. So I guess that's the sort of message, yeah. Oh, he's lovely man. Yes. No, he did extremely well. It couldn't have been bettered by anybody else. Being such an intense film. Yes. <laughs> what was the atmosphere like on set? Fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, we, we we talked a lot, day and night, all the time, and uh, we talked about the subject. We talked about so much stuff, and uh, yeah, we, it, it, it was there was a. Um, there was a strong sense of we are doing something that's meaningful and we want to do it well. Yeah. Did that help your bond? In oh yeah, this definitely, yeah.